Well, hello everybody. Hello and welcome to another Air Hauler 2 flight with Bug Eater 64. And we're going to be in the DC-3. Now this flight is going to be really, really short. It's a commodity flight. And we're going to be flying from uh, our last location that we landed at, at KSFO and San Francisco. And we're going across the bay to Oakland International. Uh, super short flight but that being said we bought commodities uh, animal feed at $52 a pound we're carrying 5200 pounds and when we get there we're gonna be able to sell it at a plus $60 uh, price so we're gonna make a whole lot of money and we'll talk about that if if it works if it is truly uh, you know sixty dollars above our purchase price then uh, it's going to be really good so with that come along with bug eater 64 in our c47 and let's make this real short flight fun see you on the inside all right everybody well here we are in the cockpit of our dc3 c47 and we're going to get ready to go here and get her running it's only a 10 mile flight so let's get things started here you may hear uh, Dion soul in the background uh, as he's getting ready to land so he can go take care of some things but uh, this is gonna be interesting this is air hauler 2 flight doing a commodity flight again like our last flight was but this time we're only going 10 miles and let's see just how much money we can make in this very short flight all right so uh let's get started here let's first close the doors and get some power to the bird fuel pumps on no smoking seat belts all right and beacon on And everybody go ahead and say hello to Dion Soul, who's just landing his airplane as we get ready to take off. Very good. Yeah, we're using ship to ship communication. Very good, carry on. <laughs> we'll get this old girl started here. Alright, get that there. Fuel pumps are on. Go ahead and get that set. That. Crack the throttle there. And let's prime the old girl. Get the magnetos on. Okay, and with that, let's take a quick look here. Good engine to start. Prime the left engine. Okay, we've got two good engines. Looking good. All right. Generators on. Let's go ahead and uh, turn on the taxi lights or nav lights. Anti-collision. And we should be in good shape. Now, bring up our GTN. Make our short little flight plan. K O A K. 
for Oakland. Activate the leg. Huge. Oh my goodness. Ten miles. How will we ever get there in one piece? All right, so let's take a look at that's ten, and we have to go down to well, we're supposed to take off from two eight. So we're going to have to come down so let's make that transparent and let's get started Everything's looking good. Release the brakes. Start, start edging our way around here. It's probably going to take us longer to taxi to our takeoff point than it is to make the 10 mile flight. like they park two aircraft on top of each other. Very interesting. Okay, air haulers telling us to go ahead and taxi and take off, which we can do. Now these wind socks are telling me something completely different. Uh, let's see. Arriving and departing runway 10. Okay, so we're just going to pull up here to runway 10. So that'll work. Let's get very good. We are set. Pull up here to runway ten. Let's get our takeoff configuration. Approach. 
approaching. Zero, one, left. All right, yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's go over there and start applying some power. <coughs> Brakes released. Air speed's alive. going 10 miles so I'm not going to get a lot of altitude here. Actually I'm being very bad <laughs> crossing a runway before keep the airspeed down This is a crazy flight. Going 10 miles. Let's go ahead and bring the gear up. eight miles to go. Alrighty, so the airport's gonna be straight ahead of us here. Okay. Four point nine miles. I didn't even bring the flaps back up because Gear coming down.
Okay, so we may do a flyover of the airfield and turn around to make a landing. So, Caution, taxiway, caution, taxiway. Sure looks like a runway to me. We are down. Well, that 
was quick. My goodness. So, okay. Very good. So, flight complete. Now, let's get to it. Let's see what's going on here. And, okay, so here we are. Let's go to unload cargo. Commodity sold. Very good. All right. Finish flight monitoring for now. Smooth landing. I'm always happy with that. Excellent. Okay. Now, with that, let's go ahead here to company information. Look at our finances. Yep. We made some money. Let's look at the ledger. Okay. Spent two hundred and eighty thousand to buy the feed. We made three hundred and thirty-two thousand. So, <laughs> that's a good thing. Let's just check see how much that is. All right, get out the old calculator here. Two eight zero eight zero zero. Point zero zero is what we spent. Okay, and we made three three two eight zero zero. Subtract two eight zero eight zero zero point zero zero equals we made fifty two thousand dollars for a ten mile flight. I'll take it. So, all right. All right, so there we are. Not too shabby. Anytime I can make $52,000 for a 10 mile flight, I mean, it took us longer than it had to, but uh, I wasn't going to speed up. And uh, it just is really cool. So the commodities right now as we're building the business seem to be the ones that really can make a lot good good money much more than some of the missions we're actually getting. So what I'm doing is I was fortunate enough as I've said earlier that I was had money from my P3D version so I was able to transfer that money to this X-Plane version. So that allowed me now I own two DC-3s, uh, a 208 uh, Caravan, and my Pantera uh, for doing different size jobs and things like that. 
and I've got my AI pilots that um, fly those jobs and then I pick the jobs I want to fly and primarily I, in this DC-3 until we, you know I can build I'd like to build the business enough where I can get something like the uh, fly J Sims uh, dash 8 Q400 because that can carry a lot of cargo uh, twin engine turboprop and that airplane too uh, I I have a couple versions of it the latest version being the legacy and we're keeping our fingers crossed when uh, fly J Sims finishes the new version which should be awesome but uh, the legacy is, is fun to fly to but this old bird she's my all-time favorite uh, since PMDG stuck us in the back and didn't support the DC-6 uh, for X-Plane so basically you know PMDG just makes a great product uh, but they don't support us in X-Plane so they can basically kiss my butt and uh, I'll ruffle some feathers with that I'm sure but what can I say I'm an old man I'm allowed so hope you enjoyed the flight and very short uh, me talking here is probably longer than the flight was but uh, a lot of fun and uh, until next time we'll see you again in air hauler 2 uh, and we'll make some more money together so be well be safe and as always safe flying